It's NAS 2023. It's October. Uh, we're in we're in LA, and now we're standing in front of this booth with Kuros. Is that correct? Kuros by by Kuros. Kuros. Okay, that's great. I've got Jost and Catherine with me, um, and and they're here to just talk a little bit about their technology. Give me the rundown uh, overview of the technology in general, and uh, and then maybe we can get to some specifics about about that, and then. We'll talk a little bit about your company and that sort of thing. All right. So can you talk a little bit about the uh, product first? Yeah, so very briefly maybe about magnetos. It's a synthetic, it's a calcium phosphate with a surface topography that you can see here, those needles. And when you implant it in the body, it stimulates the body to form bone on the material. So it's completely different from a lot of other uh, bone graft materials. Okay, so like. this, this is a representation of, of what the... The surface, Structure. exactly. Okay. Yeah. If you zoom in, this is a very high magnification. Okay. These crystals are submicron scales, so that's one hundredth of a thickness of a hair. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very small, and, and because of that, it really has a unique biological response after implanting okay. implanting it in the body. Okay, and the idea is it stimulates bone growth. So the way that the surface topography works is that it stimulates macrophages to form to the pro-healing M2 macrophage subtype. And what those M2 macrophages do is induce bone growth. So they signal to mesenchymal stem cells to start laying down osteoblasts, which are kind of the building blocks of bone. Okay. We have lots of data on this from in vitro, in vivo, so benchtop studies, animal studies, all the way to human clinical studies. So is that... Uh, I guess built into the to the structure, or is that something that's like you have a, a, a lattice or a, a, an infrastructure that's built, and then you add this sort of thing to it, or is it just the structure itself? It's a structure. We have got a unique uh, manufacturing process that causes this surface to be formed. Interesting. And then when it's implanted, as Kate indicates, you get macrophages, the first line of defense, when you implant something in the body and they polarize to a pro-healing phenotype, which stimulates then or results in bone formation. Okay, is there anything specific about the composition of the material that helps with that, or is it just the so it's, Yeah, it's a calcium phosphate, so that's okay. one of the building blocks of bone. Um, it's mixed with hydroxyapatite, which is also what natural human bone is, is made out of. Right. And um, so, so it's been used for a long time. Yeah, that's not yeah. unique. Yeah, itself, yeah, right. It's really the surface structure that makes the product unique. But because it's a biphasic calcium phosphate, it's been used for a long time in human people, and we know that it, you know, that it has a really nice track record along the way. Okay, and and I noticed that you you built it into a few different ways that that you use it. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So we started with granules, uh, which are shown here. Yeah, and then. Surgeon said, you know, we want it with a bit yeah, different handling properties. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, yeah. you see here, this is loose powder, basically. Okay. But we also have a putty formulation. Uh, so we have it, the granules embedded in a polymer matrix that is dissolving very fast oh, after implantation. Okay. And that gives a better handling for surgeons. And then we also have a, uh, a flex matrix product. So it's an easy, yeah. And that's a collagen with the granules in there. So yeah, I haven't seen this before. Um, that was really interesting to me. So it has it has a collagen uh, substrate, right? Yes. And then the... Yep, the carrier is a fibrillar collagen, so it's a little bit different from a traditional type 1 bovine collagen, which is really highly cross-linked. Our collagen is more fibrillar and loose, so that those granules inside with their surface topography can contact host tissue immediately. And the mechanism of action is really just immediately activated. Okay, so to me, and I, I don't want to diverge too far off here, but to me that, this sort of flexible setup here uh, makes it seem like it has application beyond just bone growth. Is that something that you guys are thinking about or anything like that? Or no. some other applications other than, than bone Well, growth? collagen can be used as a lot of different applications, but with our magnetos, we are really focused on bone okay. growth yeah. and we are targeting spine fusion as mm -hmm. we are why we're at NES, right. although this product can be used anywhere in the body where you want okay. bone okay. generation or bone regeneration. Okay, so um, that's a good point. At NAS, uh, this is specifically for spinal surgery. Um, and uh, what do you think about this particular trade show or the like trade show sort of as in general for getting your word out, I guess? Yeah, NES for us is very important. I mean, it's the biggest conference in spine, uh, I think worldwide. Uh, so for us, this is crucial. We are, our company is 
multinational. So we are we have our headquarters in Switzerland. Okay. We produce this material in the Netherlands, that's where I'm from, and largely commercializing it in the U.S. And okay. That's you know the team that you see here. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's approved for use in, in Europe too, like yeah. a CE mark or yeah, something? Yeah, it has a CE mark in okay. Europe okay. and Australia. Yeah. Australia too. Okay. Um, what, what other trade shows? Do you have any plans for other trade shows in uh, this year? Yeah, or? I mean, we go. I think we're going to 40 in 2024. Holy cow. So globally, we're going to be at a lot of trade shows. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also... Busy. We submit our um, our data to even more than we are at a booth for. So we're constantly submitting abstracts, presenting on podiums, and so even more than forty, where we're not we're not a commercial presence, we're a scientific presence. So we work with spine surgeons who are doing spinal fusions, which is a you know a really common surgery in, in spine surgery. So the people that Yost and I talk to most of the time, every day, all day, are actual <laughs> like orthopedic spine surgeons or neurospine surgeons. And so that's what I am, is an orthopedic surgeon. And Yost is a PhD who invented this. Okay. So okay. Yeah, so uh, the, the company, as I mentioned, it's it's Swiss listed. Uh, and we have two technologies. Magnetos is our, our, our main commercial product, uh, mm -hmm. our only commercial product, developed by my team in the Netherlands. Uh, but Kuros has also got another technology, which is Fibrin PTH. It's a drug pharma product that we are now having clinical development, uh, phase two trials, uh, and that's being developed from Switzerland. Okay. So, so the commercial product developed in the Netherlands, and a pharma product in Switzerland, and ultimately mainly commercializing it in, in the US, although we're also in Europe and, uh, and okay. the rest of the world. How long has, has the company been working on this sort of thing? Uh, so, Coors itself are you, was, are you connected to the company directly or, or were yes, you? Yes, I was one of the founders okay, and my okay. company merged with Kuros back in 2016. Okay. Uh, and we've Kuros started early 2000. Uh, okay. So we've been yeah. long. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, for, for a long time and, and spent a lot of time, as, as uh, Kate mentioned, we are science based. So we've got a very strong scientific footprint from our 80 people approximately that are working with Kuros. There's about 12 uh, PhDs slash MDs, mm -hmm. so big uh, scientific base and we are also dri driven for clinical proof. So we are investing in 10 clinical studies at the moment, level 1 studies, uh, up to uh, retrospective studies, to show that our product is actually superior to other products out there. And we are pretty unique in that. Most other companies that you see here, when they have market approval, they start directly selling it okay. with a story and we provide the clinical data. I mean, who would you say your, your primary competitor is? You think? Oh, there's there's quite a lot. We are okay. an orthobiologics company. Mm -hmm. So the biggest one you can see there, C-Spine, Orthofix, uh, Nuvasiv, okay. uh, Medtronic, all the big... But, but they're not the specialized. They're not specialized, exactly. We are really specialized on orthobiologics and I think we're pretty unique with our technology uh, in, in, this, in this area. Awesome. Well, I, I was really impressed by your look and your booth, and now your technology. Uh, it was really great meeting you. All right, great. Meeting I, I can't you. can't thank yeah. you enough for your time. Thanks, thanks a lot for dropping. Appreciate by. it. Yeah.